Greetings, magical mavens. Spring has been slow in shaping up this year, and that's okay with me. It's given me plenty of time to gradually emerge out of hibernation and to get my spring garden tasks sorted out before the real growing season began. But even with the weather and my energy being a bit slower than usual this year, my creative mind has been a hive of activity. I've had so many ideas for projects and videos and new things I'd like to learn, all of which will be coming soon, so be sure to subscribe. But amidst these seemingly contrasting energies I've been experiencing of being kind of slow and tired and also having tons of great ideas, I've also, of course, had to keep up with my self-care as well as run my shop behind the scenes as well. So before putting out my next garden video, or my super magical bedroom makeover that's coming out soon, or my next seasonal Sabbath video, I thought it would be fun to invite you to join me for this enchanting video, a cozy witchy shop vlog, where you get to come along with me in the Writing Witch Studio as I fulfill some witchy journal orders, photograph listings for my home decor shop, shoot promotional videos for some items, and more. So while it was a busy few weeks for me, this film will be a relaxing ASMR adventure for you. So I invite you to sit back and relax and let's make some magic. One exciting thing that's currently going on behind the scenes at the Writing Wood Shop is that I've started a fun new product line one-of-a-kind handmade junk journal grimoires, each with a special theme and color scheme. Over the many years that I've been running my magical journal shop, I've accumulated a large collection of handmade and collected papers, as well as a huge digital library of enchanting vintage artwork, some of which I've edited in Photoshop to include a wider variety of skin colors than what we normally see with vintage style illustrations. This one is my Red Witch themed junk journal, which sold earlier this month in a set with one of my handcrafted writing wand pens. These shots are actually the footage I shot for my shop listing on Etsy. Typically, detail shots like these would be sped up times 15 to fit into Etsy's 15 second video limit, so I thought it would also be fun to share them here in this vlog at normal speed with all the fun ASMR sounds made by the velvet ribbon, my enchanting crinkly aged paper, and that satisfying rub of cardstock journal cards sliding together. This journal has already sold, but I'm creating more junk journal grimoire kits similar to this one in different colors, with different illustrations, and with different found items, like this magical fabric that I used for the cover of this journal. Some of the more recent ones also include a lot more different kinds of magical papers mixed into the journal itself, whereas this one that you're seeing now was more for someone who wants to go for a minimal page layout. So keep your eyes on the shop if this is something that tickles your fancy, and I also invite you to join my newsletter list because those people are always the first ones to find out anytime that I put out anything new, and these one-of-a-kind journal kits tend to sell out relatively quickly, so if there's a particular one that you have your eye on, you're going to want to be connected over there, so I'll leave the link for that below. Hey guys, so I just came up with another interesting 
thing for gardening. So I just got a lamination set so that I can make my own laminated covers for my journals. I used to send away for them actually, and now I can make them myself. But unfortunately it does produce a little bit of plastic waste on the edge. And I could probably use those for garden labels. So yay. Next, let's wrap up an order for Hestia's Hearth Home Shop. If you're new around here, I've been running my witchy journal shop for nearly a decade now under a few different names, which some of you may remember, but I've also recently finally realized my lifelong dream of selling magical home decor. So back in December, I launched Hestia's Hearth and began selling vintage and handmade decor and altar tools like this enchanting antique goblet filled with my spicy spell candle wax blend. For both of my shops, I always like to include a little extra magic for my customers. I now typically include a few sheets of my magical aged parchment paper, along with a personal thank you note, and sometimes some journal cards or tags with enchanting illustrations on them. And if it makes sense with the proportions of the package, I also love to roll the extra goodies up into a magical parchment scroll so that it feels like you're opening a special artifact when you unbox your order. And popping back over to the Writing Witch shop, it's time to prepare some printed seasonal grimoire pages. This order was for a set of the Beltane information and journal prompt worksheets, as well as a set of my blank Beltane themed writing pages. These paper packs are available as instant printable downloads, as well as pre-printed copies mailed to your door, like these ones. You have the option of ordering sheets with plain sliced edges, or you can upgrade to these fancy edges where I tear and stain each sheet by hand and make the edges look aged and tattered. I have packs like this for all eight of the Sabbath seasons, so if you'd like to order a set for the next Wheel of the Year checkpoint, I invite you to place your order now. These are made to order, and it can take up to 10 days or so to be prepared and shipped out. So it's always a great idea to order in advance. But of course, if you're seeing this really close to a Sabbath and you just need your prompt pages or writing sheets immediately for something to do on, say, the weekend of the holiday coming up, you can always go for the instant download options and get lifetime access to print them again and again every year if you want to.
And now let's bounce over to Patreon. All but the lowest tier of my Patreon community receive some kind of physical item in the mail every month. Right now, most people are in the seasonal living challenge tier, the middle of the three tiers, which includes an envelope stuffed with random bits and bobs from the writing witch shop. But the newest tier is the ritual guide tier, which includes not only physical copies of the seasonal prompt pages, like the ones we just wrapped up together, but also a whole separate ritual kit to manifest your most fulfilling life each month. This year, patrons at this top tier level received a copy of my book, Manifestation Journal Magic, Guided 369555 and Scripting to Manifest Your Dream Life, along with a ritual guide page that helps you get the most out of your scripting practice, plus one of my handcrafted crystal writing wand pens and a magical candle. back to Hestia's hearth shop. Let's get some magical aesthetic shots of some new old things. Here's the footage from my listing shoots for some enchanting vintage items I've recently listed for my witchy home decor store. So that's just a few little shots of what I got up to just in April in the art studio. Since that time, I've received a lot of positive feedback on the vlog style content, so in between of my regular Sabbath series that comes out every six weeks, I'll be dotting in as many magical vlogs as I possibly can. I'm now recording basically every magical seeming thing that I do, and I'm getting ready to post my next vlog, which will be an epic garden update video. 
showing you how my experiment is coming along as I transform my boring apartment balcony into a magical witchy cottage garden with far less than ideal conditions, I must say, but a heart full of determination. I hope you'll subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be able to join me for the next phase of that adventure. And in the meantime, I invite you to check out my previous witchy garden vlog where I transformed my garden from winter into spring. See you there.